Welcome to the part of me. But we love all things high for time and even much. I'm Risa. And I'm Aria. Welcome to our channel. So Aria, can you tell everybody what we're going to do for today's video? Yes. A Hogwarts apron. This is my little giant apron. And it's how we cook it today. No, we're not cooking things in. Risa! <laughs> so today we have for you a hat. Yeah, this is a tutorial of sorts. We're gonna make a Hogwarts apron and we have Raven Claw ones. You can use the colors of whatever house you belong to. Yes, I'm a Raven Claw. See that Raven Claw. <laughs> yeah, so we're both Raven Claw. She actually did the quiz on Pottermore and so did I. And we both got Raven Claws. So for this tutorial, you need at least level 1 sewing skills or. Or, or level 2 or so. <laughs> Or at least level 8 skill when you have blue dye. So Aria, did you know how to sew before this video started? No. Aria, do you know how to sew now? No. So I had like level 0.0001 sewing skills coming into this tutorial. But you still have a level. So we did get my mother to help out a little bit on her sewing machine. But I just sewing machine It did. We ended up using a combination of sewing and hot gluing. I stuck my finger with the needle many times. Out. So I think it's pretty nice. Like you have the color here, and you have the uniform, and you have the, <laughs> <laughs> and you have the tie. But I think it came out pretty great, don't you, Aria? Yes, I love it. So let's get started with this tutorial. So As you'd expect from a mediocre apron tutorial, we're gonna start by measuring our fabric and cutting it out. I'm not going to be providing any measurements as it should be tailored to your body. However, I will tell you that you need a smaller square shape for the top and a larger rectangular shape for the bottom. We're going to start off with our smaller piece of fabric and we're going to make the shirt looking portion for it. So we're taking this white cloth and drawing some triangles. Now you know why you did all those math class in school. And we're going to make the triangle a little bit wider than the square piece. And we do this because we need to account for those raw edges that need to be hemmed. Speaking of edges, we hem all but one edge of the gray square up there. Then we fold our triangle edges inward, we pin it to our gray fabric and we get ready to sew. Now I'm not going to show how I sew this because I can't sew and there are like a million tutorials out there that can actually help you. We're going to repeat the process and make two smaller triangles. And we're going to refer to the style of our apron as rustic chic since we can't sew. So once we get these nice and aligned, we're going to sew the top of it onto the shirt portion. Now we're going to move on to the tie portion and you need felt colors according to your house colors. And yes, I know Ravenclaw is blue and bronze, but I couldn't find anything resembling bronze in the store. We cut out a tie shape using the blue as our base and we use grey stripes across. And here is the bottom part of it hemmed on all sides before it's sewn on. This is what it looks like before and ignore the people in the background. After this, you can hot glue or sew on your waistband and straps. And then you're done so. We really love how they came out. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And click that notification bell. Next time. Bye. Bye.